Bar Jagdeo reiterates his call for a regional approach to the food, fuel and financial crises facing the Caribbean. CARICOM trade ministers are to meet here in Georgetown to address the implementation of the recently signed economic partnership agreement with the European Union. And commuters continue to pay two different minibus fares even as Commerce Minister Manaram Prashad announces the reduction in fares from November 15. Business news eye on the judiciary health tips on a force related sporting action in the Diamond Mineral Water and NCN Sport News signed Economies Station and, and Commuter. I am Janelle Persaud. And I'm Paul Moore. With this edition of the six o'clock news for today, Monday, November Wednesday, November nineteenth, sorry, two thousand and eight. Paul. Good thanks, Janelle. President Bar Jagdio has reiterated a call for a regional approach. To the food, fuel and financial crises facing the Caribbean. The President was at the time addressing a civil society forum at the Buddies International Hotel funded by the Caribbean Development Bank and the Inter-American Development Bank. The organizations are meeting to examine their contribution to food governance, to good governance rather. Edward Lane reports. Many Caribbean countries have been grappling with the rising cost of food and fuel, climate change and the effects of the global credit crunch in the past year. Some nations have since designed their own strategies to mitigate the effects of these, but President Barrett Jagdew is of the view that a common approach for the region may be the only answer. Is that we must not allow ourselves to be lectured to, that we in this region, we have the capacity to, to come up with the indicators that are important to us and we must never feel inferior to any other region who come to lecture us or people from from those regions so I would urge you that we work together on these things let's work as a team on climate change let's work as a team on addressing food security for our region Mr. Jack Dio says Caribbean countries sometimes lose track of the important things in their argument on good governance. We must not allow buzzwords to guide our thoughts. Because if we do that, if we allow people to lecture us in this region to create a set of values, we may, as I said before, lose sight of our own challenges and our unique way of solving them. The president was at the time addressing the Civil Society Organization's dialogue, which is funded by the Caribbean and Inter-American Development Banks. We have these dialogues to continue the interaction between and among representatives of civil society and the bank. And I... We agreed to look at some specific indicators of progress for the IDB in very specific areas, areas that are of importance to you. Areas such as development effectiveness. Do bank programs work? Do they achieve the desired results? The meeting is being held in Ghana for the first time under the theme Strengthening Partnerships for Good Governance. It was attended by participants from Barbados, Belize, Trinidad and Tobago, the Bahamas, and Jamaica. Day one of the discussion examined accountability and transparency on the part of the state, access to information, and participatory monitoring. Discussions end tomorrow. Edward Lane, the 6 o'clock news. Chairman of the 17th COSAD meeting, Vince Henderson, says it is time to revolutionize CXC examinations into a globally recognized product. Speaking at a press conference last evening, he also expressed disappointment in the delay of the free movement of skills in the region. Here is Shard Alal. Officials from 12 Caribbean countries have been assessing ways to enhance the quality of education in the region. This includes moving the CXC examinations to a higher level and developing human resource capacity during the next four years. While CXC certification has received acceptance from British institutions, COSA Chairman Vince Henderson says the United States is yet to recognize its value. Proposals have also been made to boost the information technology component of the council's operations. The marking process, hopefully someday we can see almost the, the what, what we can call an electronic test taking system that we can actually sit test through um, the use of technology on the computer um, for some of the CXC programs. But I think initially what we were looking at is the whole institution, the organization utilizing more technology so most of, of its work 
can be technology based so as to minimize the time it takes to do a number of things. For example, the delivery of grades and records. In a bid to improve the syllabus, the body is also looking to offer vocational skills and competency level certification at secondary school level. Competency level certification will provide an opportunity for students who have not completed high school to pursue other courses. Meanwhile, the COSA chairman says there is still a long way to go in the implementation of free movement of skills in the region despite commitments from member states. In this regard, he says emphasis is being placed on the creation of opportunities for regional certification in technical vocational training. When a student gets a certificate in Guyana, that student can move to Barbados, Trinidad, Jamaica, Dominica, and will be treated the same way. It will be treated the same way to have the same value as it would in Guyana. But it is necessary to develop regional institutions. Of course, we have the benefit of the CXC. And through the CPQ's certification, certification of the vocational skills, we will be able to move throughout the region. The certification of various post-secondary institutions has also been at the center of discussions. To this end, the establishment of a regional accreditation agency for education and training has been proposed for next year. Reporting for the 6 o'clock news, I'm Shardalal. The three 1.6 megawatt Caterpillar generating sets from Miami have arrived and are to be installed shortly. The sets will be immediately transported to GPL's Sapphire location for installation even as generating capacity in Demerara has already been boosted at other locations. There has been the addition of 2.2 megawatts at the Versailles site and an additional 2.5 megawatts at Garden of Eden. Technical problems had been the cause of a series of disruptions in both Demerara and Burbies during October and the early part of November. Prime Minister Samuel Hines had recently expressed confidence that power generation was almost back to normalcy, but urged greater conservation of electricity.